Hello there everyone and welcome. So I was actually looking back at the uh, videos I made about my different uniforms and stuff and I wasn't too pleased with it given the lighting situation and since I've actually moved most of them into my room here I thought that I maybe would go ahead and redo them and as you can see the lighting is a lot better in this room and I'm actually using the webcam since it doesn't um, sort of the it doesn't uh, turn off as my camera does with a five minute interval um, so I'm, I'm completely sure that it's constantly um, recording anyways what we're looking at here is one of the new uniforms I've got um, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram you've probably already seen it and it's a early German World War One uniform and right now we're looking at the shirt we can see that it's quite a long shirt as you can see it's um, quite unusual long and you can see it's l l longer in the back and I'm not entirely sure why this is but I know that during the 1800s uh, they usually didn't wear we'll see there actually maybe I'll show you uh, what they did was instead of having underwear they would fold the shirt up um, as to uh, sort of act as the underwear and let's go ahead and put away the shirt there and take a look at the pants and these are uh, stone grey and they're held up by suspenders as you can see here you've got four uh, placements which hold them in the front and then you got two in the back I'm um, not sure if you can see it there not really super important right so they hold the pants up you also have some straps in the backs to help to help you uh, hold the uh, the pants in place um, two pockets two front pockets and you can see a small pocket there as well um, pockets are the pockets are quite small. We'll see. I, I can fit my hand in there, but um, it's not a very big pocket compared with what maybe uh, I think I, I probably can fit my phone in there. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. You can see some of the. You can see the strap there. You can see actually, I correct myself there. There are actually four um, uh, places you can hold there. I guess depending on how how large of a person person you are so there's quite a bit of room there uh, for adjustments which is very good of course if you're making army pants that you want to uh, you obviously wanted to fit as many people as possible uh, which makes it a lot easier for the quartermaster anyways we're taking a look at here the uh, jacket uh, that I'm putting on right now and as I said this is an early uniform so it's got quite nice details with the different buttons and stuff uh, which they would discard later on in the war for obvious reasons putting on the epaulets there I have them open because I'm gonna put on the uh, the uh, webbing these different straps that hold my um, the ammo and stuff and slowly buttoning the buttons here um, and uh, wh what should I say, oh, well um, most people ask me where I get the stuff and this I think entirely uh, I got everything from the same place and that's Soldier of Fortune um, which is located somewhere in Wales I believe if I'm not mistaken I've got their, they sent with one of their catalogs here and I think they actually say it's somewhere in the UK anyways let's see yeah North Wales and I'm and I must say um, given the price I paid I am uh, pretty happy with uh, all of it the quality and stuff is uh, good I think and uh, the only thing though was the the helmet the pickle hobble which we'll, we'll see coming up later on um, it was actually bent during shipping so maybe 
uh, they could think about uh, give an extra thought there to how they uh, pack the stuff but otherwise there was no real concern with the ah yes I'm showing here the um, the sleeve here and it has adjustable so if you have I guess a large arm you could uh, uh, make it more roomy and we're gonna go closer and take a look at the buttons I don't think this is actually gonna yeah you're not gonna be able to see that but it's, it's very nice buttons and they got the, the nice crown there so um, good detail on it we're taking a look at the back there a lot of people have uh, said about my different stuff or at least the I think they commented on the British stuff and they said it looked very baggy well it I remind them that it is of course army stuff and you want to have room to move within them um, and I think we're gonna yeah we're gonna put on the straps now I'm gonna I, as I recall I had a bit of trouble putting them on um, and I haven't really um, adjusted them yet, really. I've I've sort of roughly adjusted them, but they fit pretty well. And also you can see here that uh, uh, we've got a mistake, which is that the the belt is black, but the uh, the rest of the uh, the webbing is still the sort of natural brown ish color or not natural but it is brown same with the ammo pouches and uh, for the early part of the war they would have all been that brown it was uh, later on where the Kaiser I believed issued uh, the order to blacken all of the webbing Let's see if I can put it on there uh, part of the things I ordered with this new one is I ordered a new belt buckle the old one I had was of steel this one is of the early one as we can see here uh, it's sort of a brass with the uh, the sort of uh, shinier uh, piece there in the center and it is Prussian so it has the Prussian uh, motto Gott mit uns although you probably won't be able to see that Now there should obviously be a few other things like the bayonet, the bread bag, and a water bottle. But um, I haven't gone around to ordering them yet. We can actually go. I can actually use this catalog to see what else they have. Mm, 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 yeah, and uh, you could also get a backpack. Yes. Right, it seems like I've got it more or less fitted. I'm just going to fold the uh, the epaulets over to hold it in place. You're going to see that it's, it's not um, fully adjusted as they sort of bulge out a bit and they don't hang straight there on the front but they hang well enough I'm going to center the uh, mid P or the belt buckle there one thing uh, I haven't actually yet been able to open the ammo pouches um, I'm going to have to take a closer look at that it's not that uh, it's just that the leather is of course in the new pieces and it's very stiff so I haven't gone around to and here we see how it hangs in the back um, adjusting it a bit and it also has those two buttons there where you can sort of see that they actually hang on to to help it hold it in place alright very very nice looking I must say I was very pleased with it for I al already haven't said that and here we got the little cap which I also ordered I also ordered the pickle howl as I said 
as I've already said um, but something a bit more comfortable you could wear and something a bit more appropriate for the trenches maybe I should have gotten a haircut before I did this video but um, never mind that right now what is done is done and here we go that's the pickle owl with a uh, with a cover to shield it but also um, I guess that uh, it it would uh, it would sort of uh, attract the enemy if you've got something that blingish on your head uh, of course uh, in the modern army you really don't want anything shiny on your uniform possibly giving away your position and that is possibly also a reason why they have that it might also be to protect the leather from the rain as well we're gonna see me take it off there and show the helmet in its full glory now you can't actually see that it was bent because I was able to bend it back uh, but if you look closely uh, you can see that it is slightly dented on one side uh, but uh, it's overall it's a very nice helmet besides the fact that it was was the uh, the pike there on the top was bent um, the chin strap is quite feeble so I don't see myself using that uh, but I think it's it's very nice leather in uh, in the making of this and it fits comfortably on the head and here we can see close a close look a uh, closer look on the helmet and maybe we can actually see that it is slightly dented on the uh, yeah I think we can see there if you can look closely you can see that it's dented on the side there but I did I did uh, email them afterwards um, saying that uh, maybe they should look into how they uh, pack it so they don't so no other customer has to end up with that and I can imagine that um, it wouldn't be very you wouldn't be very happy if you ordered one of these and it come and bent for me it was lucky that I could bend it back in place and uh, I guess the 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 um, the sort of uh, the fact that it is slightly bent just gives it a bit of ch charm now I'm going to show the boots and these as well I believe would be blackened later on in the war as on the order of the Kaiser and we can see here uh, I didn't put them on uh, or I th yeah I didn't put them on because uh, as you can see they are studded and wouldn't it, it, it wouldn't be very nice uh, walking with that on my floor I'm actually doing it right now but I'm walking very carefully uh, not to scratch the floor and you can clearly hear me as I walk as it I am trying to show off the belt but the uh, the resolution isn't good enough so overall I would say that I'm I'm pleased with this um, and yeah uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, like comment sus subscribe and all of that and uh, I'll be seeing you for another one of these where I go through uh, maybe go back and go through another uh, another uniform I have to sort of update the one I did uh, when I stored the, most of the uniforms down in in the basement so yeah um, hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you for the next one bye